רבותיי, אוצרות חיים, שיעור ג' We are still in שער העיגולים שער העיגולים, אוקיי, we finished our last שיעור explaining in the beginning before space and time, before there was a ratzon, before anything everything was הקדוש ברוך הוא, everything was אין סוף Everything was the infinite light of Hashem. After Hashem decided to create the world for the reason that's known to Him, just for the simple reason, whatever that simple reason is, it is what it is. Ten sefirot, all 6,000 years of creation, suddenly came into potential being in His makshava. The ten sefirot, the first ten sefirot. And when the ten sefirot were created, now, HaKadosh Baruch Hu wants to create man because he is good and, per- and something that is good wants to give. Not because to get something in return. God is good because he is just good. Okay? And he, so what did he do in the middle of his infinite light? In the middle, he created a black void. A black void. Inside the void, it's a black hole. There's no Ein Sof. The or Ein Sof is not there. Mm-hmm. No light. It's a black void. It's a void. Inside. Yeah. Inside. It's, empty. it's empty. Why is it empty, Rabbi Abraham? What did we learn? If it was full of his light, then what would happen? Everything would go back to what it was. So what's the point? Right? Constricted. Yeah, so he constricted. He made a tzimtzum. Tzimtzum. The first tzimtzum ever. Created koach adin. He created judgment. Right? The first creation. How the rabbi always says here. Right? Why is there two days of Rosh Hashanah? First day of creation was what? Din. Tzimtzum. This din, this tzimtzum is holding back his infinite... From going back into the void. So it's self-contained. Exactly. That's one of the major questions. How is something that's created holding back the infinite? So wait, it doesn't that's what HaKadosh Baruch Hu does. It means HaKadosh Baruch Hu makes the world created every single second. God didn't create and leave the world. Like the atheists, like the philosophers and the atheists think that he just created it and that's it. He left. Now we can do whatever we want. Every single second, it needs Hashem's Hashgacha. Yes. Like it says, Hashem said, Yehi Or, that there be light. That means His words, Yehi Or, is still emanating in all the light in the world. It hasn't stopped. It hasn't stopped. It never stopped. Now, once He created it, the void, that light that was originally in here, right? It left an impression. An impression in here. Even though it's a black void, it's an illusion, we said, right? We explained it. Right. It's really everything is in self, everything, we're still inside the end self. But Hashem makes it as if He's not there. We have to uncover it. Uncover Him. Okay. And inside this void, Hashem created all the worlds. Atzilud, Bria, Yetzira, Asiyah. Now, don't think there's only one of them, Gavriel. Open your book. There's millions of them. In kits of Atzilut Briah Asiyah, there's millions of them. Galaxies, galaxies, galaxies just inside the Olam Asiyah. Imagine what's Yitzira Briah Atzilut. Infinity, Karachi. Basically, we could all inside this black dot because a black dot in infinity is really what, kind of like infinity itself, right? Very hard for us to comprehend. That's why we're not delving too deep inside these concepts. We will visit the Shem. Now, to create a creation, now Hashem is going to bring back His light that was originally in here, back inside the void, the Tzimtzum, the Halal. But now He's only going to bring it in a very, very, very thin line. Dak Shebedakim. 
Like we learned, Masa and Nida, the Shifafe has to be Dak Shibidaki, has to be very thin. And inside this pipe that is created from the original light of Ein Sod that was inside the Halal, he's going to bring inside new or Ein Sof. From new, it's new. It's not, it's not that it was originally inside the void. The pipe, the kav, we call it the kav, the line, is made from the one that was inside, originally inside, and the one that's going inside and making all the words alive new. New, is the new one. Like we're going to learn Orma Hadash. Okay? Read, read inside. Vehine. And behold, it's very important to look inside. Like we said before, Abotai, this limud is alive. So you don't want it to kick you out. You want him to keep you in. And we said it's very important to dip inside the mikveh. And to, uh, like we learned in the previous year, don't do the seven things that make you excommunicated. There's a reason why I gave that year today. You have to be very careful from those seven things. V'inem, behold, kasher tzimtzem. At small, when God as if constricted himself, as derech tzadech and from one side of this round void, nothingness, him or he brought down a light, derech kav echad through one pipe, yashar it's straight. It's very important that we know in the Torah. Yashar is on a higher level than Sadiq, says the Gemara Masechet Anit. To be straight. The Avot are called Yesharim, not Sadiqim. They're called Yesharim. Duck, it's very thin. This Kav is very thin. Ke'en sinor like a pipe. Or nimshach ma'en sodochalaze, there is light coming in, in through this pipe, into the void, umemaleoto, and it's filling it up. But there is left a space between the light that's filling this void and between the light that's surrounding the void that we learned that means the, from this calf it's filling up this whole chalal. It's filling up the world. Our nishama, everything. Atzilud, beriyah, etc. Yeah, we're getting light from this kav. But you should know that the light that's filling up the world, there is a space. There is a space surrounding that this space is still void. It will never touch the border. Because if it will touch the border, what will happen? It will break through and everything will return what? To Back to the end of which Hashem doesn't want, even though I don't want to scare you guys, but at the end of days, that's where we're going. You understand? That's where we're going. But don't worry, it'll be a reason. It's not going to hurt. What do you mean? <laughs> I'm kidding. What? We destroy the entire universe. So that's what it says. In the future, God created the world 6,000 years. In the 7,000th year, what does he do? He destroys the world and he creates wings for tzaddikim. What does that mean? Ah, I got to learn the Arya Kadosh for that. <laughs> it's true. And your tefillin. So what happens? So the light that fills this, this uh, void doesn't reach the tip of the edge. the edge of the border which outside of this is just the end sof HaKadosh Baruch will infinite the eternal why? because then it will turn back to everything that it was this, now and this kav itself this 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 pipe the pipe the kav the line v'siyum ha-kav hazeh lemata eno nogea gam ken bo'or en sof atzmo also this pipe it goes down 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 fills the world fills the world fills the world but it doesn't reach the end. If it will reach the end, what will happen? It will break through and there will be no beginning, middle, and end. And the whole point of creation is not to be like the infinite. We have to become the infinite from realization. And to do that, you have to understand that we have a beginning, a middle, and end. Only Hashem doesn't have a beginning, middle, and end. 
we all have a, we're born, right? Then we get married, and then we go Kaddish al Israel. Huh? That's part of the process. Uh, the line. Yeah. You said the, the new, cup. The cup. The cup. The new energy that comes in from yeah, the, God's presence. Yeah. Was it instantaneous or is it filling? Everything? Slowly, it's filling uh, in the world slowly. Uh, the the circular worlds and the inner worlds. But we're, now we're just giving you a general right. concept okay. of how everything works. Fine. Shame Lokan, because if it's gonna be so that the calf is gonna reach the end of the void of the halal, everything will return to back to it was. And God doesn't want the calf to ha- to be eternal. God wants the calf, the line, to have a beginning, a middle, and an end. He doesn't want everything to go back. He wants the world to work for its sahar. Okay? He wants there to be a certain work. Okay? He wants it to be a certain work, a certain job, a certain birurim. We learned yesterday, last week, that God created the world because He is good, right? Something that is good doesn't have a reason. He just wants to give, right? Ratzona Pashud. It's Pashud. We don't know what it is. You know, Siba no Dad. But there is a Mavosharim, which is very one of the most hidden books of the Ariya Kadosh that says. God created the world for another reason. He wants there to be a selection process. It's very deep stuff. God wants there to be a birurim, ha'alata birurim. It's very high. It's a very high thing to even think of. But God want, God enjoys our service, and He only chose six hundred thousand souls to do it. Those are the souls of Am Israel. And because of the sin of Adam Arishon, those 600,000 itself split each one to 600,000. 3.6? No, billion. Billion. 600,000 times 600,000. And each one of those 600,000 could be broken down into more 613. There's a lot, a lot of sparks, a lot. Okay? And all of those sparks already lived in the world. They all lived. We are the last ones. We're all sitting here in this room, for example, in time of the Ariya Kadosh. There would be no such a kind of thing in the world that people like us would be sitting in the middle of the night learning this. To be accepted to an academy to learn this back in the day, you know who you had to be? You had to be a tzaddik chassid tahor yashar podeu matzil. But since we're in the last generation, and everything, Hashem is wants the last selection process to happen. Our learning of this limud at the end of days is causing all the bad stuff from coming inside Queens. Basically, we're causing a very, we're causing a protective bubble around this whole city, even country, by learning this. How? <coughs> ten Jews sitting in the middle of nowhere learning Torah. Each one of us, ten Jews over here, has a nishamat that could hold hundreds of sparks. Hundreds of sparks, okay? And it's all because Hashem is chafetz l'ma'an tzitko. Va'alken, lo nitpashet, so therefore, because God doesn't want the calf to reach the end right away. There has to be 6,000 years. V'nimshach ha'or hazeh baruch ha'vdo'a ha'chalal hazeh. And the light spreads throughout the whole void. How do you spread the light throughout the void, guys? Just as a... As a uh, out of the question there. How do you how do you spread the light? I want to br- our job as Jews in a nutshell is to bring more light of the end self through the calf. If that calf stops for one second bringing in light of the end self, the whole world turns back to what? Tovavo. How do you do it? Two ways. Torah is one way. What's the second way? Mitzvot. Torah and mitzvot. Okay? So wait. By doing mitzvot, we're speeding it up, or yeah, we're speeding up so the selection we, process. So we we have the ability ability to slow it down or to speed it up. Exactly. <clears throat> when Hashem sees that we're slowing it down, he he speeds it up himself. How does he do that? He takes Jewish people on kiddush Hashem. Mm, because when a person passes away, at that moment he's bringing up the amount of sparks he did as he did in his whole lifetime. So what does Hashem do when he sees that the world is going down? He takes he takes all the tzaddikim. He balances. And especially who does he take? Children. 
children. Tinokoshal Bet Rabban, like last week, Lo Alem Lo Al Am Yisrael, the whole family ate six children. Whole family got wiped off the face of the earth, burned alive, burned alive by Yama Melach. Alu Baleava. It's a very big gzardin and all of Am Yisrael. It's only because of one thing. We're all Arevim Zelazeh. Okay? So we have to speed up this process. And how do you do that? As you as a Jewish man have an obligation to learn Torah in all your free time. You can work. You could spend time with your kids. You could uh, even go work out a bit. But when you have a free time, you must come to a Shilur Torah. You have no excuses. And I say this to myself, by the way. The light goes into this halal. This void is the first creator. Creating. It's the first creation. Okay, the void itself is a creation. I explained to you how. The void is what? Koach Hadin. It's the, it's the power of judgment. What is judgment? Judgment is when a person has suffering, where is God? That's the void. What's the void? Where is Hashem? Everything's black. Hello, I'm really in there. So what does Hashem do? He gives us the light of Hanukkah. What's the light of Hanukkah? That's the kav. It's the light of Hanukkah. In the middle of the darkness, He gives us a, a kav. I'm there, don't worry, but I'm really all over. No, I'm suffering. I don't see Hashem anymore. He's not there in my life anymore. He's there. Open your eyes. You have to, you have to accept so, suffering. You have to, accept it? you have to accept that the suffering is just another is just another part of the selection. Can you say it's the birurim, huh? So where is a a, a person who's an amahat who doesn't know what Judaism is, but is Jewish? He has to do birurim on his own level. He has to do birurim on his own level. For him, learning one daf of Gemara could be his tikkun in his world. That's, that will be his process. Okay, for him, fasting on Yom Kippur could be his. His max. You know? He could be Moshe Rabbeinu in his own right. Okay? What do we see? That all of our Shefa, all of our light as human beings, as the whole world, the rocks, the stones, the angels, everything, gets life from one thing, Rabotai. The Kav. What's the Kav? The lion. The pipe. Right? You see that picture and the yeah. thing? That's the pipe yeah, over there. You see that? The laser beam. Yeah, the la- I call it the laser beam? Call it the laser beam. The okay. Afalpi, and even though Shekola Atsilut Hu Agol, all the creation is round. The Orange of Makivo Bishalim Gods Dadav, and the light of the Ensof surrounds this creation equally because it's round. Im Kolze Otoma Kom Shinishar Davuk Bov, and Ishamir Roshakavaze. The beginning of the Kav is considered the beginning of creation, right? That's it's considered the Tchila, and the end of the Kav is considered Sof. Okay? Tchila ve Sof. Even though the whole thing is one creation. But since Hashem wants there to be beginning of time and the end of time, what is it based on? It's based on the Kav. This Kav, the Rasha Shakador says in Rehobot Anar, is the source of three souls. Avra, Avraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov. This is also called Shoresh HaYichida El Yonah, this Kav. Some people, they can't do a lot of Kavanot. They cannot do it. All those Kavanot HaRasha, Barabam, you know, pages, Baruch. By the time you finish saying Baruch, he needs to sit on a chair. So what does he do? The Ramchal says if he tries to connect with the with the first creation, the Kav, the middle point, the everything. And what is this Kav? Yud K Vav K. That's the Or and Sof. This is the Kav, the Shorish Ayichida. That's the Kotz of the Yod. The Yod has a Kotz, right? That's what it is. The tip, the tip of the Yod. Whatever keeps on going inside the Kav, how the lower it gets, it's considered farther away from the Ensof. Okay? So the farther you go down this Kav, the farther you are from Hashem. The closer you are to the Kav, the closer you are to Hashem. Right. 
שיש בחינת מעלה או מטה באצילות. So from here we see there is a up and down in אצילות. שאם לא כן, לא היה בחינת מעלה ומטה וראש ורגליים באצילות. So what do we see? It's very important. Now we're going to learn that, that this kav, that this kav, is giving life to all the worlds, right? This kav is basically, think about it, mebesari echezero, it's your neshama. It's your neshama! So it's, a, it's a neshama of all the worlds. And the first world we're going to talk about right now, Bezot Hashem, is going to be the circular worlds. From this kav comes the circular worlds. We're going to learn right now from this kav, Okay, there is the circular worlds. Okay, the circular worlds gets life from the kav, from the kav, and from the or and sof outside. Okay, but what's the main neshama of Oisai? Remember the kav, the line. Okay, I thought the or and sof just holds it together in place. No, the or and sof does not hold it in place. What holds everything in place? The first creation, the koach adin. Right, right, holds. He yeah. holds, he keeps the orange soft from coming back in this crate. So God, God said, keep it in. So it's like forever he's saying, keep it in, keep it in, keep it in. It's like, so it's keeping have, it out. Okay. We're keeping it in. Okay. So we have light that's going in from the calf. When this is the beginning. The beginning. Right. It's the beginning. And we also have another source of Yes, where? but that source that's coming in, it's like the pores in your skin. Ah. You understand? It's I not understand. even Oleb Hashem. But that light that's inside the car, the car. Hashem, Hashem okay. wants you, Hashem wants you to, to figure him out from the inside out. Okay. Not from the outside. Like, I'm going to say, I'm going to judge a guy by the way he's dressed. From his chitzoniut. He could dress like a very big rabbi, but deep inside he could be right onto the core. Mm -hmm. God wants you to feel, it's, the avodah is from the inside. Okay? Like you're going to learn a, a daf of Gemara. You're not going to learn it outside in. You're going to learn it inside out. You're going to learn it from in the book. You understand, Rabotai? So therefore, we have to get to the point where we have to think. That's what the Arya Kador says in his Agdamata Etz Hayim. You have one mission in this world. If you reach this mission, you figure out everything. Find out where your soul came from. Your root soul. Exactly. You figure that out, you figure out the key to your life. How do you do that? Ha <laughs> ha! How do you do that? That's the Kasha. First of all, don't be one of the seven people that are excommunicated to heaven. Let's start with that. Amen, <laughs> Sela. Okay, Rabotai. Let's go a little bit more, a little bit further. This light, the or in sof, that's mit pashet, that spreads inside this halal, nechlak lebet bechinot. There are two different aspects, two different worlds it creates. The worlds have to be in a circular motion. Why in a circular motion? Because what's the shape of the whole void? Circle. It's a circle. So everything inside, what are the planet? What are the planets shaped as? Circle. circle. What is the galaxy shaped as? Circle. What is your face? Circle. It's a circle. Everything circular. So everything is what? It's a circle. Why did Hashem create us all in a circle? Exactly. Because we're getting everything b'shavet. Only a circle has the ability to accept the light in an equal fashion. <laughs> because anything that has a point, a point, like a square, a rectangle, a pyramid, it's not equal. It's never equal. There's always going to be a leftover, right? Mm -hmm. Only a circle could be pi, right? 3.14. Three pi is the perfect number, right? Writer. By the way, there is a book. Called, uh, you remember that doctor I said I just passed away, Rabbi uh, Morad. So in his book, Torah Min Hashamayim, he proves that pi is actually a number inside the uh, Kabbalah. It's a very interesting book. I have it in my house. So uh, the, cir the circle is a very important uh, yeah, geometric shape. Okay? So all the worlds inside this halal have to be in a circular fashion. What does that mean, circle? So let me erase this picture for a second. So let me, what does he mean by circle? So we're inside the halal, right? Let's pretend this whole thing is the void. The first circle is going to be called 
Keter. Okay? That's the Igulim. What's Igul from the word? Agol. The second circle inside of him. Chokhmah. Bina. Da'at. Hayesid. Yivurat. Everything. Don't take the circle. Don't take the picture as a... <coughs> this, this is the next page. You see that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. See the next page? That's, the, that's what I'm trying to draw over here. Okay? This is the circular. This is called the Igulim. Olamot Igulim. Very high level worlds. We don't talk about them a lot. The circular worlds, right? Because we can't understand something equal. We're, we're going to learn that our bodies are not made from the circular worlds, our souls. It's coming from the straight worlds. Okay? Now in the Igulim, for example, these are 10 Igulim. Let's say there's 10 for the 10 Sfirot. Keter, Chokhmah, Bina, Chesed, Givurah, Tifer. Guys, remember. Keter, Chokhmah, Bina, Chesed, Givurah, Tifer, Netzachod, Yesod, Malchut. You have to sleep with those with those names, okay? They have to be with you wherever you go. I'm serious, I okay? I spell Gilulim. Gilulim, Igulim. It's on top of your... It's in the book. It's on the book, John. Okay? Now, there's 10 Igulim. Why is there 10 Igulim? For the 10? Sfirot. There's 10 Igulim of the partsuf of the system called Arich. Then there's 10 Igulim of the partsuf Abba. 10 Igulim for the partsuf Ima. 10 Igulim for the partsuf Za. Okay. What, 10 Igulim for the partsuf Nok. Partsuf. Yeah. What's partsuf? Partsuf is a system. Okay. The system, okay? There is 10 Sfirot in every system, and there's 5 systems in every world. Are there systems beyond this point? Of course. Igulim, yes. There's there's above Atzilut and Ak. There's there's a lot of systems wait, before wait, that, but wait, we, wait, we don't talk about them. Bring it down in your diagram. Yeah. Huh? Oh, like yeah, there's, there's 12 Partsufim, really? But that's the Pratut. Okay. The Pratut. Okay? Sorry. We only talk right now, we're talking only Bichlalut. Okay. Oh, yeah, there's Kanto of Pratut and Igulim, 100%. But. They're, we, they're not the Bayor share. They also mid lapshim echad betocha sheni, but like a ball within a ball, like an onion. You know how you cut an onion? There's a layer within a circular layer within a circular layer. And if you learn Etz Hayim, we're learning Otsrot. You're going to learn how the Igulim interact with one another. But that's not our subject. So you're saying each category, uh, each yeah. circle has another 10? Exactly. Till Enkit. <sighs> Le mashal, an onion. You cut an onion, it's a perfect mashal. There's a circle within 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 a circle. There's... Endless. I don't want to say a number even. Millions and billions of circles. Igulim. Okay? But that's, those are nothing to do with us. Yes. Nothing to do with us. So our job, we're going to learn, is the olamot hayosh. The standing worlds. Yeah, we're going to learn them now. Give me a second. I'm not here. Not, uh, okay. This, we're, our job is to fix this. The circular worlds are mostly corresponding to females. Why do you think the Ashkenazim, when they get married, what do they do? Their wives? Because uh, this is the nefesh of the olamot. Besod nekeva tesovev gaver. The woman will surround the man. And inside the circular worlds, God will create the systems, the standing systems. The sphero that are not in a circular fashion, but are in a standing fashion, breaking into these worlds. We call them the three kavin, like a human being. We're made, as if God made Adam. But selem elokim. What's selem elokim? Image of God. Se yeah, it's true. Elohim's judgment, but the same image of God. What does it mean, image of God? In this system. In, this, in these three systems, you see, a human being has a middle, and we have two sides. So wait, what's that? The kav. These are the three. Oh, the, the kav is gonna be inside. Yeah. No. This this is the different systems. We're, we're we're jumping ahead. Give me a second. Right now we're still in igulim, right? We're still in the circular worlds. Let's not skip. Yeah, let's not skip. Okay? We're jumping ahead of ourselves. So these circular worlds, how many are there? So we said there's Keter, Chokhmah, Bina, Chesed, Givurah, Tifere, Netzach, Hod, Yisod, Malchut. There's 10 in every system. So 10 to 2 power times 10. 10, 10 power. Exactly. Okay? So there's, one second, how many systems, how many parts of are there? 10. 5 parts of 10 sefirot. 
in every part suf. How many parts of in five? So ten times five is fifty. And how many olamot are there? Olamot, olamot, worlds. How many worlds are there? There's there's a lot of worlds, but and mainly we call them five worlds, right? Connected the five parts of our neshama, the five parts of God's name, right? Ak ve'abia. Say it with me. Ak ve'abia. Yes. It stands for Atzil, Ak, we don't read, but Atzilud, Biriya, Yetzira, Asiya. Our job is to connect everything together. And a Jewish person could do that just with a thought. That's how special your Nishama is. And if, God forbid, you're thinking of something you're not supposed to be thinking of, what are you doing? You're clogging the cup. The cow, clogging it. And then the person says, Efo parnasa. Hashem says everything you did. You did to yourself, Jonah. Weiter. Weiter gegangen. Okay? So let's try to finish this line. Va mashal. And the parable goes like, Or sfirat keter. The or of the sphere of keter. Hu igul echad. It's one circle. One circular world. And inside of it is the igul of Chokhmah. These are going to be like this 10 igulim of one system called Arich. <coughs> one circle, one system. 10 igulim of one system. So like this. You have 10, right? 1, yeah, yeah. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. These are all the ten of the system called Ari. We're going to see something very interesting. This is also going to teach you a very big idea in Shalom Bait. We said Igulim correspond the women, just like the women surround the men. In the worlds of Igulim, the more outer you are, the closer you are to God. Why? They're more closer to the border. To the border. In the inner worlds we're going to learn about them soon the more inside you are you're closer you are to the calf that's the difference between man and woman in a nutshell okay woman is all about the outer appearance it's all about materialism the more outside they want to go outside all the time let's go out let's this 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 let's go vacation let's do this i want to wear jewelry i want this i want that i want the world but the men are not like that. We are more kav. We're the inside. We want to be male kol almin. Women want to be mesavev kol almin. Okay? We're going to end here for today. Baruch Adonai le'olam. Amen ve'amen. Another Kaddish?